Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol KZIA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Well, quite the crazy mover on Friday. I mean, uh, late day volume price exploded upwards. So going into today, uh, a lot of people talking about it all weekend. And uh, essentially, for lack of a better term, I mean, this was a total gap and trap. What do I mean by gap and trap if maybe you're new to charts? Well, on you know, there's this gap, uh, or there's close here, price gapped up, and then this morning, price was up around here, and then essentially just drifted further and further downwards the remainder of the day. So from where it opened up, like I said, is is this like a full-blown gap and trap? No, but for, for like I said, just kind of trying to find a middle ground in, in, in sense of what this was. There was nice excitement out of the gates, and then from there, the price just drifted downwards. So, you, you know, you might not find this one in the, t you know, gap and trap section of a textbook, but... For lack of a better term, that's exactly what it was. A whole lot of excitement out of the opening gates, and then from that point forward, just down the price drifted, and you know, down the price, uh, essentially it, it continued to drift. And even during the final portion of the day, and this is where the first kind of key level comes into play, but to give some credit or credit to this 575 mark had done a good job all afternoon long. Sure, the price had pulled back, but at least the price was able to just hover, 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 hover up around that area. And then the final 30 minutes showed up right there. And now you can see that, you know, the 575 mark has even been violated to the downside. So now it's, you know, that much more of a valid question to think, you know, is this the start of something bigger? Is the bleeding going to pick up that much more, more momentum on Tuesday and Wednesday? Only time will tell for that. Uh, but it is definitely a very valid concern now, given the way the price has broken through that area of support, which just based on foundational rules and charting when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So with any sort of attempted bounce back to the upside, 575 is now going to be that newest area of resistance to keep an eye on. So we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, that's definitely, uh, you know, like I said, no such thing as a guarantee. So you can't say that the price is guaranteed to continue to bleed downwards. But at this point, it also would not be shocking in the least to see that sort of uh, action happen with that movement. And then as far as the next potential area of support, that would be down here at what is that? About four dollars and fifty cents. So, not saying it's drifting down to four fifty within the next couple of minutes or within the next, uh, you know, first opening minutes on Thursday or excuse, what is today? Today's Monday, so uh, Tuesday. Uh, can you tell it's the the Thanksgiving week is throwing me off here? But not saying that you know on Tuesday it's shooting straight down there. But there's just a whole lot of kind of space now between this uh, area. So we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, definitely not the the greatest way to start off the week, especially when there is so much excitement with this one over the weekend. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not. And I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.